Tonight we've learned funeral services for Wyzetta police officer William Matthews will be held this Thursday. Matthews, who was 47, lived in Plymouth with his wife and seven-year-old son. He was killed when he was struck by a car along Highway 12 on Friday after he stopped to pick up some debris. Dina Morney has the unique ways in which the community has come together to honor the late officer's memory. Since 1975, James J. Hill Days has been a time to celebrate the historical figure who helped turn Wyzetta into a tourist destination. I love the atmosphere and all the people gathered. On this day, honoring late Wyzetta officer William Matthews brought a moment of somber reflection for onlookers like Vicki Pink. It just makes me so sad, so sad that he won't be home. The parade tribute was one show of respect among many honor across the Twin Cities. We're very honored and humbled that something like this is um, being done. At the True Value in Long Lake, owner Mike Kokish yeah. came up with a simple way for his customers to show their support for law enforcement. One of the things people always ask is, how can we honor Officer Matthews and how can we honor the fallen officers? And the most simplest thing you can do is unscrew a light bulb and put in a blue bulb and turn it on at night. Kokish also serves as a Minatrista police officer. These type of things are very, very difficult uh, for law enforcement in general and, and all first responders, fire, EMS. The hope is that little blue lights will eventually go up across the state of Minnesota. We took out 500 light bulbs to bring up here to give away for free. And in fact, today we had a customer of ours that went to another store and bought out 50 light bulbs and donated them to us for free just to keep giving them away. Small symbols of gratitude illuminating a community struck by profound sadness. That's honoring Officer Matthews, his family, the Wyzetta Police Department, and all law enforcement in general. We expect the Department of Public Safety to share more details about how the public can participate in the funeral in the next day or so. There will also be a memorial fund set up at the Wyzetta Wells Fargo tomorrow for Officer Matthews' family, Angela. All right, thank you, Nina. The driver accused of fatally hitting Officer Matthews is 54-year-old Beth Freeman of Mound. She is still in jail tonight and may be charged in the next couple of days for criminal vehicular homicide. Court records show Freeman has a history of moving violations and had her license revoked.